What is up, math superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, we are bringing to you problem-solving strategies for multiplying and dividing fractions. So here we go. So our first problem goes like this. So one batch of Derek's pancakes. Pancake recipe takes two and three quarters cups of milk. If Derek makes three batches, how much milk will he need? So we have some facts here. So let's list out some facts. First fact is Darren has awesome pancakes. Anyone making pancakes using real milk, I'm sure his pancakes are especially delicious. But the math part, each batch takes two and three quarters cups of milk. And our friend Derek, he wants to make three batches. So he wants to make sure there are plenty of pancakes to go around. So what's his problem? He needs to figure out how much milk he needs for three batches. So in order to do this, our operation we're going to use is we're going to multiply these fractions together. And in the second little part here is let's go ahead and set up our fractions. So we said it's multiplying, so we have two and three fourths times three. And you notice we are here at step number three is we are slowing you down so that way you can read the problem, figure out what operation it is, and set it up correctly before you even try to start solving it. So now we're at step number four, which we're just gonna write out the steps that this is gonna take to solve this problem. So when we're multiplying fractions, our first step is we're gonna make the mixed numbers into improper fractions. We're gonna make the whole number into an improper fraction. We multiply the numerators, we multiply the denominators, and then we simplify. So we have some steps here, but we're at step number four is what are, we're figuring out what our steps are. So we're so close to figuring this out here. And so we have what we drew, what we wrote out, two and three fourths times three. Our first step is let's go ahead and make these numbers into improper fractions. So we can do four times two is eight plus three is 11, so I have 11 fourths times, and then make our whole number three into an improper fraction is just three over one. Our next step is we, we're gonna multiply our numerators together, so 11 times three is 33, and four times one is four. So we have this improper fraction. We're doing so good, we just got a couple more things we gotta take care of. Let's go ahead and change our improper fraction into a mixed number. The way we do this is we do some fancy long division here. Four goes into 33 eight times, and we have a remainder of one. And so the way this works, we have our whole number is eight. So that's our whole number. We keep our denominator the same. So our denominator is four. And then the last little bit is this remainder of one, that's our numerator. And so we can say that overall, how, much, how many cups are required for this project? We can say there's eight and one fourth cups. And the way we can kind of double check to make sure we're so close to being on the right track is if we estimate two and three fourths, we can estimate that to be three if we round that up. If we multiply three times three, it gives us nine. And so we kind of can know based, of all, based on our estimate that our number eight and one fourths is a very reasonable answer and is the correct answer for this problem. So let's try a second problem here. So our friend Mia, she's working on a project that requires three and one half yards of ribbon per project. Mia has 28 yards of ribbon to start with What's the greatest number of projects that Mia can complete? So first of all, Mia is making stuff out of ribbon. So our second fact here is that one project takes three and a half yards of ribbon. So whatever she's making, whether it's a bow in her hair or she's making a pretty border around a project, whatever she's making out of ribbon, one project takes three and a half yards of ribbon and she has 28 total yards to start with. So she went to Michael's or Joanne Fabrics 
or Hobby Lobby, wherever she went, and she purchased 28 yards of ribbon, and she's thinking, hmm, the question was, how many projects can I complete with my 28 yards of ribbon? So remember, each project is three and a half yards. So what we can do, the operation we're going to do this, is we're going to divide these two numbers. And the way we're going to set this up is we have the total number of yards she's starting with is 28. And she's going to divide that or cut that for each project being three and a half yards. And so for, for step four, just remember, we are so close. We have some great information going on. And we are so close to completing this word problem. So we know that our steps are, we're making all of our mixed numbers into improper fractions. And for division, we're going to keep the first fraction. We're going to flip the second fraction. And then we multiply them together. And I wrote over top of the word simplify. So now step five. All we have left to do now is to solve this. So our very first step is we're going to make everything into improper fractions. So 28 as an improper fraction is 28 over 1. And we're going to divide that by 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 28 over 1 divided by 7 over 2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to keep our first fraction. We're going to flip the second fraction. And you guessed it, now we're going to multiply. So when we do this, so 28 times 2 gives us 56 over 7. And to figure out what this improper fraction is, as a mixed number, we can do 7 goes into 56. And we have 8. 8 times 7 is 56 with 0 remainder. And so to figure out the number of projects that she can complete, she can complete eight total projects. And you might say, you know, that's a lot of steps. How did you get there? How did you do that? And so what we can do is we can take a look at what we have here is if we rounded 20, uh, rounded three and a half to, let's say we rounded down to three. So if I did 28 divided by three, that gives us a little over, that gives us about a little over nine projects. A little over nine. And so if I round it up to four, 28 divided by four, that gives us seven. And so you kind of see our number has to be somewhere between seven and nine. And you guessed it, we got a number of eight total projects here. And so we use our steps from step number four. We just set up our equation was in step number three. And then all we had to do was just solve it.